Hi. In this video, we'll see how you can make edits to a takeoff uh, once you once it's completed. So I've got the sample takeoff open in front of my screen. And to start editing, you first need to click on this edit takeoff button. Once you click on that, you'll see that this new editing toolbar appears in the top. And you can use this editing toolbar to make any adjustments to your takeoff. Um, so let's say if you want to make any edits, uh, let's say you want to edit this uh, this duct. Uh, the length of this duct so you can go and click on this edit tool select this duct by clicking on it and then you can make tweaks to it by dragging and dropping and making these changes and once you hit escape all the changes get auto saved so that's how you can make uh, adjustments um, to uh, the duct let's say now you want to draw um, a, a new duct length yourself for that you need to click on this add feature button and once you do that uh, you can go and select whichever feature that you want to add to. Let's say I want to draw a new length of this basement supply air duct, which is 12 inches in dia. So I click on this arrow and then I can trace out that length. Double click to finish, hit escape. And then you'll see that the software has drawn this uh, takeoff for you and it will have added uh, those quantities to this uh, category in real time. So that's how you can use this edit tool and the, uh, the add tool and the edit tool. Um, Let's say uh, now you want to add or draw a new category of duct, which is not available in the auto generated takeoff. For that, you need to click on this create a new edge feature icon. And then let's say I want to create a new duct category. So you can give that title, new duct, let's say. And then you can give a description if you need to, then hit save and exit. And once you save that, you'll see that this new duct category layer has been created. And now I can go and click on this add feature, select this duct and draw it. Double click to finish, hit escape. And then you'll see that the software has measured this for you and added this to your list of quantities. So that's how you can create new uh, quantities from scratch. Uh, I also talk about one important feature that you might find useful, which is the reclassify tool. So let's say you want to reclassify this existing auto generated uh, duct length into this new category of duct. So for that, you can click on the reclassify tool, select this, and then select the, the category that you want to classify this length into. So this would be new duct, hit escape, and then you'll see that in real time, the software has switched the category of this length into the new duct category. Um, other editing tools that you can see, you can rotate, split, um, and uh, do bulk selection using these tools. Uh, keyboard shortcuts are available right there at the top. So if you're used to using the keyboard, you can use this. Um, and then uh, one key feature that you'll find useful is the tagging tool. So the tagging tool allows you to classify um, any, uh, uh, any of these quantities into any category of your choice. So I've got some sample categories that I've created uh, for myself. Um, and I can classify any one element or a variety of elements into these categories. The way I can do that is, let's say I want to classify the right-hand side of all these quantities into, uh, let's say, floor one, hypothetically. So I would click on this onward pointing arrow, select lasso tags, draw a polygon around all my floor one quantities like this, double click to finish, and then I'll go and select uh, my floors ta uh, tag, and then select the floor one tag, hit done, hit escape. And then the software will save that tag for me. And then if I want to see that information, I can go to the detail report. And then you'll see that in this detail report, um, I'm able to see a new um, column, which has the floor one categories added next to the items that I've just classified as floor one. You can apply filters and then export this Excel if you need to. So that's how you can use this tagging tool. Uh, quickly, I want to show you how you can create your own tags. So for that, you need to go into settings, click on tags. And then once you go inside there, uh, you can see I have created all these tags uh, for, for classification. You can see how to create your tag by reading this uh, description on the right hand side. But it's super easy. You can just you just need to click on this, uh, create tag types, um, and then give a title to that category. Let's say I would call it X, Y, Z. Hit save. Once you do that, this new category will be saved. And then you can click on this plus icon and create the types of tags inside that XYZ category. So let's say I would call it XYZ1, enter, XYZ2, enter, so on and so forth. And once you create those, uh, they will show up in this, in this box.